Unit fourteen: A Tale of Two Cities, Life, Death, and Sacrifice. November twenty fourth. Jarvis Lorry, a banker, is journeying from London to Paris. He intends to reunite a young French woman, Lucy Manette, with her father, who is an old friend of his. Lucy previously believed her father was dead, but in fact he'd been held captive in the Bastille, France's most secure prison, for 18 years. Doctor Manette can barely recall his past life. Lucy helps restore his mind, though he's still mentally scarred by his experience. Laurie helps them return to England. Five years later, Doctor Manette and his daughter give evidence at the trial of Charles Darnay. Darnay, accused of being a spy, is actually a French noble who has turned his back on the aristocracy. Darnay is acquitted. Thanks to the intervention of Sidney Carton, a lawyer who happens to look exactly like Darnay, the incident brings Lucy and Darnay together, and they fall in love. Carton too loves Lucy. However, Carton, an alcoholic scoundrel, considers himself to be an awful human being whom no one, including himself, could hold any affection for. He confesses this to Lucy. And says that while he knows she could never love him, his dream is to one day perform a great service for her. Time passes. Lucy marries Darnay, and they live with Doctor Manette in a house on a street corner that always seems to echo with approaching footsteps. Perhaps these sounds forebode the terror that will soon overtake them all, as across the English Channel the streets of Paris are filled with violence. There, the French Revolution erupts with a desperate assault on the Bastille, and the chaos drags all the characters into its bloody embrace.